Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something a little bit different to what I usually put up. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a story time and vlogging the next couple of days. Today my brother and his girlfriend are coming to pick me up and take me to Perth because tomorrow I have knee surgery. Um, so they're taking me down to Perth today. Got to be there early tomorrow morning. So we're going to be vlogging that. And I'm also going to give you guys a bit of a story time, you know, explain the whole situation. Um, I've got an eyebrow appointment tonight. As you can see, I'm in dire straight needs of. So today's just going to be a bit of a um, story time, vlogging. Come along with me for my surgery. Yay. <laughs> Um, so this whole situation started probably uh, like early May of 2018 so this year um, I was playing a like start of season scratch match for the town that my boyfriend lived in at the time I've now moved there but it was when he was living here without me um, okay where were we so at the very beginning, we hadn't actually started yet. <laughs> um, so it all kind of started, start of May this year. I was playing a scratch match. I got like 20 minutes into the first quarter and I hyperextended my knee and it was fucking painful. It hurt like a bitch. And I pretty much said, no, nah, I can't play anymore. I got off, um, gave back my jumper. You know, I was limping for a little bit, but I didn't really think anything else of it. So two days later, I went home because I was, I was here in York at the time. Um, and I went home and I said to mum, you know, I've got to go to the hospital. And me being naive AF, I thought the emergency department was going to actually help and they didn't do anything at all to help whatsoever so we went to the emergency department waited there for ages 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 um, just to get in to see a doctor and he said oh you've just strained ligaments or something you know you'll be f wear this compression bandage for a couple days you'll be fine in a couple days I was like right okay that same day because I pretty much was like nah he's full of shit that's not the case at all so that same day I got a physio appointment my dog's just roaming around outside. I tried to get her to come in before, but she doesn't want to come in. <whistles> nah! No, not impressed. Um, so that same day, I went to the physio, and uh, we got some... What did we do first? I think we just did, like, some massage and stuff like that. And then we did that for weeks, and then she was like, nah, something's not right here. So I went and got some MRIs and I got referred to an orthopaedic surgeon in Subiaco and we found out I had torn my meniscus, so my medial meniscus I think it is, and it's like on the inside of my knee and it was pretty much a three centimetre, so like three centimetre horizontal tear straight through it. So I had to go in for surgery, that was on the 30th or the 31st of May of this year. And, you know, when I went in for surgery, the guy was like, pretty much, there's only a 75% success rate, which is actually pretty shocking. Like, that's one in four people it doesn't work for. So, pretty much what they do is they go in and they stitch the meniscus back up. But if the meniscus doesn't take, then, you know, it's not going to work, pretty much. So, had that surgery, you know, recovery is fine, expected to be in a bit of pain. But the pain just never went away. Like, I'm talking, what are we now? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Seven months later, still painful. Like, it, it got better, but it never got, like, 100%. I was doing physio, I was doing rehab, and it just... I mean, I was pretty lazy with my rehab, to be honest. I never did the... Oh, I never did, like, my exercises... I never did my exercises that I was supposed to do, so that's probably on me. But, yeah, it just never got better. So, 
fast forward to like a month and like a month and a half ago, um, my knee swelled up so massive and it was just painful, aching and then I'd have like sharp pains that would go down my shin and stuff like that. So I went to the physio, but a different physio this time, so I went to a physio where I'm living now. And we did some stuff and she's like, look, there's a chance that it hasn't worked, la da 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 da. So I go back to the um, surgeon and I get more MRIs done. And this is like last week this happened. Um, and pretty much I go into my appointment and he says, yep, it hasn't worked. Your meniscus isn't healed. There's still a big tear in it. And so pretty much tomorrow... They're cutting me open again and taking my meniscus out. I kind of know what that means, but in my head, I, I'm thinking now if they take my meniscus out, it's like bone on bone. I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor. I don't actually know. I just know that that's what they're doing. They're taking my meniscus out because when they stitched it together, it didn't heal properly. Um, in the meantime, like probably two months ago, I went and got blood tests done for a disease called ankylosing spondylitis and it's like a form of rheumatoid arthritis but it's like an autoimmune disease um, and it's pretty much like your body fights itself so it's in my spine and I had a fall like three nearly four years ago now no nearly three years ago um, and I fractured my spine and I bent two of my discs. And ever since then, my back's just been agonizing, like so painful. So my auntie, one day my auntie called my mum and she was like, look, I've got this new disease, well, it's not a new disease, but it's new to her, ankylosing spondylitis. And mum had heard of it before because she'd been tested for it and she was positive for the gene, but she didn't actually have the disease. And so... Mum said to me, look, I think you need to go get tested for this gene. So, long story short, I went and got tested for the gene. I'm positive for it and we're going through, like, diagnostics now. I'm seeing a rheumatologist. Yeah, I'm seeing a rheumatologist. $400 later. <laughs> Thanks, Medicare. <laughs> um, so, I'm seeing a rheumatologist and the doctor said, look, it's a good excuse for why your meniscus didn't heal the first time, but he thinks that it's just that it didn't take. But because this disease is like your body fighting itself, it's an autoimmune disease, so pretty much what happens is when the body breaks down or it hurts itself, the body tries to heal itself and then hurt itself, heal itself, hurt itself. So it's like the body's working against each other. And in your vertebrae, it's like a build-up of, I don't know, something... And then it just keeps building, 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 building as the body fights itself and heals itself and fights itself and heals itself and your vertebrae fuse together. And it can also affect your knees as well. So that's, that's the relativity of this, why I'm even explaining what it is. Because it can affect your knees as well. The doctor was like, there's a good chance it hasn't, but I would like to just tell myself it has because it makes it a lot easier to deal with the fact that I've now got to go in for a second surgery. <laughs> when I found out about it, I bowled my eyes out I just like I kind of knew that you know things could be worse things could definitely be worse I could be chopping my leg off I could be dying or anything like that but I was just so frustrated because I just started getting back I didn't play netball for a whole year and netball is like the thing I look forward to most every year and I didn't play netball for this whole year and now I'm at the point where I can start you know getting my fitness back up and I find out that it's not healed. And so I pretty much went straight in for the soonest surgery I could get. Like, I think I had my appointment. Yeah, I had my appointment last Wednesday. And I'm, so a week from today, I had my appointment and my surgery is tomorrow. So it was, a, I waited a week and one day before my next surgery. It's five days before Christmas. I know it's a pain in the ass, but they don't reckon I'm going to have to be on crutches because there's no internal stitches, which is good. I don't have to be in a full leg brace like I was last time. It's just bandages. So, tomorrow and today, I'll be vlogging today as well because I'm going to get my eyebrows done so you guys can come along with me on a bit of a lighter note. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. 
obviously I'm not going to be vlogging in there during my surgery. So that's pretty much the story time on that. Um, so tomorrow I'm going in, getting cut open again. I want to, maybe I can show you my old scars. So this is one of the scars here, across there. And that's the other one going... Is it? Or is that the other one there? I think that's the other one, either there or there. It might be there. So they go there, and there, and I don't actually know where it's going to happen this time. Oh my god, that bruise is so bad. That hurts so much. Um, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys when I start vlogging. So, my brother just messaged me and said he's on his way, so I'm going to vlog when they get here, but be perfectly prepared for him to pull the absolute piss out of me for it, because that is definitely what he's going to do, but we are just going to... Come on, guys. Come on. Hi. So we are on the way to our eyebrow appointment and then we're going to see. Hang on, our eyebrow appointment. <laughs> My eyebrow appointment and then we're going to Sizzlers to get some ice cream. I'm going to see. <laughs> and then we're going to get the $26 salad bar and all we can eat because I have to fast from 12 o'clock and I ain't playing with no hunger at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon so just finished getting my eyebrows done they look absolutely fucking ridiculous right now but that's okay they'll look better tomorrow morning we're just going to get some fish and chops from the kiwi fish chop fish chop fish chop <laughs> And then we're gonna go back to my auntie's, eat some fish and chips, have some ice cream, have fat yarns, and then go to sleep, because that's what I need right now. We is getting KFC. Getting KF fuck. <laughs> Actually, they're getting Zimbaras because they're gay as fuck and they like healthy food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting oil. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my KFC mukbang. <laughs> 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 Uh, we're currently at Zambrero's getting healthy people food and then we all decided we want to go to Macca's as well. <laughs> so we're getting KFC. Yeah, I am. We're getting KFC, Zambrero's and Macca's and if you got through this whole <laughs> sentence... <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> if you got through this whole sentence without focusing on my eyebrows, you have done well. Shout out to the Wang's treasure house. You can go. What the fuck, man? Oh, he's going straight. You beat me for no reason. No, he had his blinger on and then he just turned it off. No, Poor bloke. Hack and eel. 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 Hack and Hack and eel. 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 Hack and and a frozen drink, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we don't have any frozen drinks at the moment. Oh, okay. That's... I'm sorry, we don't have any frozen drinks at the moment. Oh. I got my Macca's chips. Happy as Larry. I just dropped my chips! <laughs> I'm still I'm still gonna eat them. Update, have more chips. Oh my god, I am dying. Morning guys. It is 7.20 on the morning of my surgery. I need to have a shower. I need to shave my knee because I haven't shaved in a while. And I've got to be at the hospital by 8.30, so leaving here around 8. And I am very, very nervous this morning. Very, very nervous. <laughs> Still shitting my dax a little bit. But... We are on our way to the hospital now. I am pooing my pants a little bit and that's really all I have to say. I'll see you when I get there.
waiting to be taken in. I'm going in in about an hour. Um, just watching YouTube. My nerves have gone down a little bit. I'm getting less nervous. Um, that's it. I've had my knee shaved and covered in bedding and wrapped up. And I'm in my gorgeous little gown. And that's it. So I'll talk to you guys when I get out. Bye. So I'm back in my room. Surgery's over. Everything went well. I'm just having some food. Um, um, I should be able to go in an hour or so. And then I'll talk to you guys once I get in the car. Hey y'all. Hello. <laughs> I'm on my way home now. I'm feeling a little bit woozy. Um, that's about it. I'm just tired AF. I got a big ass bandage on my knee. And my leg is yellow. And it's sore. And that is all. When it's not, you know, it's, it, I, I do think it is the best microphone you can really get. It's the most basic <laughs> microphone you can get, but it's the best. Hi guys, so I'm feeling well enough to go to the Christmas party tonight, so I'm all dressed with my big dressing, I've got all my drugs packed, ready to go, make up for the night, done very quickly, <laughs> um, and that's that, I'll check in with you guys maybe tomorrow, see how I'm feeling, um, and just kind of take you guys through the process right now. Um, a bit swamped for time, so I will just update you guys later. ass hair because I just woke up but today is morning two like the morning after my surgery and my knee feels great like compared to last time like when last time I had my knee done I was in a full leg brace I was on crutches for like a week this time I'm already walking around this is all I have to have on and um, it doesn't hurt anywhere near as much I'm on some decently strong painkillers but Still doesn't hurt anywhere near as much as last time. Um, the swelling started to go down a little bit, but it's still pretty swollen. But yeah, compared to last time, this, this surgery has been like a dream. <laughs> um, so I was out at the Christmas party all last night, walking around till like 11 o'clock. And then I got home and I absolutely knocked out. I was so tired. But even after walking around the Christmas party all night, um, I felt fine afterwards I mean my leg was sore and I had to take some painkillers to go to sleep but other than that it was completely fine so um in five days time I can take this big bandage off oopsie daisies so that's what I've got on in five days time I can take that off and put on just like a compression bandage um I should be able to drive in five days time so this will all kind of um dictate what I do for Christmas, how I, who I see, where I go, if I drive, if I don't, um, if I'm still taking endo and I can't drive because you can hallucinate on that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a little update on how it's been. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This probably isn't the best way to end it because I look like absolute shit, but this is just a little bit of an experience and um, just letting you guys know, you know, how it all went. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, then send me a DM and I can, you know, explain more of the process, but I didn't want this to be too long or too boring for people who aren't interested in this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and come back for a new video next week. Bye. Yeah.